when you play on a self-contained keyboard like this workstation, the normal expectation is that you'd hear something. I mean, it almost goes without saying that you'd expect the keyboard and performance controls to be internally connected to its sound-producing innards. Now, the technical lingo for this is that the keyboard and controls are all local to the sound engine. I mean, they're more than local, they live in the same house. But when we use an instrument like this with a DAW, unless we break that connection, we're gonna run into the same problems that we encountered in the previous video, where playing on the keyboard not only triggers the internal sound engine, but the MIDI data will be echoed through the computer and play the same sound again, resulting in that icky double note sound. And with this problem in mind, most self-contained keyboards are designed with a software switch that lets you break that connection. It's called local or local control. And it functions just as we saw in the previous video. If we take this keyboard apart, what we end up with are pretty much the same components that we used to build our own self-contained synthesizer in the previous video. We have a self-contained keyboard and performance control unit, and a separate sound module, or sound engine. These components are indeed connected internally, sort of like it has its own internal MIDI connection. But the local control is used to break that connection. With local control off, or simply with local off, when we play on the keyboard and perform on the controls, MIDI data is routed only to the MIDI output. Then it hits the MIDI interface, is echoed out of the computer, and is then transmitted from the MIDI interface to the MIDI input on the unit where the sound engine plays the sound. And with local off, you can use the keyboard and controls as a standalone keyboard controller to play virtual instruments in your DAW without fear of also triggering the internal sounds of the keyboard itself. And of course, when local is on, the keyboard is back to being its self-contained self. Now it's important to know that not all self-contained keyboards have a local control. And if you have a keyboard like this and you wanna use it as a controller to play virtual instruments or even other sound modules that you may have attached to your MIDI interface, then the easiest thing to do to prevent hearing the sound from the keyboard itself along with everything else that you're playing is to simply turn down the volume on the keyboard. And you'll probably also wanna turn off the software through or MIDI echo function on your DAW. And this is to prevent the possibility of generating a MIDI feedback loop, which could freeze up your computer or it could freeze up the keyboard temporarily. But if all you're interested in doing is sequencing parts from that keyboard itself, then of course you'll have to have the volume turned up on the keyboard, but you'll wanna turn off the MIDI echo or software through function on your DAW to prevent from hearing that icky doubled note sound, but also to prevent the possibility of a MIDI feedback loop.